I read a quote, when you were two years old, you said to your mother, I am going to be a musician and a father of many children. Yeah. How did that work out for you? B both. Well, well done. <laughs> Good. Yeah, musquero. I used to say my mother, I wanna, wanna be a musquero instead of a musician, a musquero. Mm. That was, you know, child language. And, uh, and when I was 10, she reminded me, you told me when you were two that you were going to be a musician. Still on that? I said, yes. Then she sent me to a music school, you know, wow. yeah, to learn how to play accordion and then guitar and then everything and then a career. And at the age of 22, I, 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 I produced my first child, yeah, which is, and then one, two, three, four, five, eight. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, achievement, you know. Well done. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And she's, she, she's, she's fun. She's 90, she's gonna be 98. And she's still with us. She's still with us. And she, she, she always reminds me, yeah, you told me you were going to do, you know, you're going to be a musician and a father, you know, you were. <laughs> She's, she's, she's sound, sound and safe in, back in by ear. Ah, that's fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful lady. At what point did you start to realize that um, music was going to have a, a deeper power uh, for you than just entertainment? Oh, first of all, I mean, uh, from very early, as you know, I just mentioned the, the, the episode in, 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 in my child times. I mean, I knew that music was going to be very important for me, for myself, because I had already a, a, a sort of a, a hint, you know, that music was very important for everybody. So I felt that I would like to be a musician, to give my contribution. Then I started doing it, you know, and then we got in Brazil uh, the times where uh, military men, took over the power, you know, and started a, a, a dictatorship, a military regime. And that was the time the whole Brazilian musical community got together to use the powers of music to fight, you know, the regime, you know, to have the possibility to reinstall democracy, to, you know, to re, re regain the game you know, for the Brazilian society. And that was the time we all sort of realized how strong and how powerful music can be. Not only for addressing messages, you know, or, or convoking or, you know, asking people to, you know, to come for, 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 know, to, to, for something, for some kind of struggle, but also by nourishing daily, you know, the lives of millions and millions, billions and billions of people, you know, with, with, with energy, with, 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 with this, you know, this pleasure to, 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 to be alive and that sort of thing, despite of all suffering, of all the pain, of all, you know, hustles of life. I mean, music and many other forms of, of life, of, of, of art and entertainment, but music especially can give the people, you know, that sense can, of, of, uh, of uh, well-being, mm. you know, uh, despite of all, all matters. Mm. How did the military government react to uh, your message and the message of, of your peers and during the 60s in that Tropicalia movement? Yeah, me and not only me, other, many other colleagues, you know, they, we were obliged to leave the country. First, imprisoned, you know, I was in prison for almost three months. Why? Yeah, in Rio. And then after that, I was in a sort of a confinement, home confinement in, in, in Bahia, my hometown, for six months. And then they asked me to leave the country, you know, in a sort of a soft, unofficial exile. <laughs> soft exile. A soft exile, yeah. And I stayed in London for three, three years and got back when the, the whole Brazilian society was starting to be able to, you know, to sort of you know, restore mm. democracy in Brazil. 
that was restored in 78, and we've been trying to build a new democracy in Brazil since then. Yeah. What, what is that like? I know my father was politically exiled also in for 30 South years Africa, from yeah. South Africa because musically he, he spoke out against the apartheid regime. Kind of similar situation. Yeah. yeah. What, what, I know for him it, it broke his heart to have to leave his home, uh, but he, he used it to tell people the story about his country. What in his country? case, it was harder because because he had to, to, to stay long, 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 many years, no? At, at least 20 years. 30, 30, 30 years. years out. Yeah. I, 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 uh, it only took me three years to be out of Brazil and then back. But it's, it's always hard. But the, the, the examples of, of exiled uh, men and, and women all over the globe because of uh, political matters, you know, it's, it's a long, 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 Long book, mm. you know, about that. I mean, it's it's hard, but it's necessary. I mean, um, when we feel that the value of, of freedom, uh, democracy, um, liberty, and everything, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a more valuable value than any other thing. I mean, we 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 get strong enough to fight. And then that, that happened with us in Brazil, with your father, Miriam Makiba, and so many others in South Africa. And it happens always. It's happening now concerning some Arab countries, you know. It happened for the, the times of the Union, the Soviet Union mm. in that area. I mean, it, it's hap it happened for any, many other South American countries like Chile, Argentina, and, and other Uruguay, other places, it, it's, it's necessary, mm. you know, it's part of life. Yeah. You would go back home to Brazil and find a life, of course, in music again, but also in, in politics. Yeah, a bit, a bit, yeah, a little bit. Uh, when I got back to Brazil, um, I, I got together with some fellows in, in my my hometown, Salvador. Some of them became politicians, and one of them became a mayor of, of, of the city of Salvador. And then I asked him, that was the time that Gorbachev was doing the perestroika in, 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 in Russia, in, in, the, in the Soviet Union. And that gave me a, a sense of, of hope, a sense of you know, new possibilities for politics. Uh, all over the globe. And then I asked the, 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 the fellows in Bahia to give me a place in the government there. You know? So they asked me to join. I was cultural secret secretary for the, for the city of Salvador in 1988, 1988-89. And then later, uh, when President Lula was elected president in Brazil, he asked me to be minister of culture for the whole country, and I accepted, because I think that was an exceptional, very important moment for Brazil, in, in, the Brazil, in Brazilian history, and uh, provided that he f thought that I could give a contribution, I said, okay, let, let, let's, let me join him and do something. We, we, we managed to, for six years, I was Minister of Culture in Brazil. Yeah. And probably one of the only ministers of culture in any country to win a, a Grammy while you're actually <laughs> sitting as minister. While in the office, yes. <laughs> because because uh, fortunately I asked, and, and he, 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 he agreed, President Lula, to be able, I, I told him, President, let, give me the possibility of having some licenses, you know, sometimes. Licenses that, uh, anyway, of public servants, they are allowed to have, you know, one month uh -huh. license every year. And I asked him, every year you give me one month license, then I can go back to music, you know, yeah. go to Europe, go to Africa, go to America, do my music. And he said, yes, you can do it. And that was when I recorded an album during the, the ministerial period and the, the academy here in, in, in L.A., Considered me an award. Yes. Grammy. Congratulations. <laughs> um, talk to me now about sort of your vision uh, for the country and, and the work that you're doing. 
um, with music and, and culture as a whole with culture points? Oh, Brazil is, is a, of course, I mean, all, any, any nation somehow has a, the dream of being a power, you know, in, a, in the traditional sense of the word. I think that Brazilians, uh, Brazilian population and Brazilian governments also, and Brazilian uh, productive sector, you know, the industry and everything, I mean, they, they want Brazil to, to, to be a, a, a power in, in, in the traditional sense. But more and more, step by step, we move into a different feeling, a different sense that, that, that Brazil has to be a power, but not, not a traditional one. No, it has to be a, a kind of a soft power, a cultural power, a spiritual power, because we are very, we are very much into, into arts, into entertainment, into celebrating life, and, and so, and so, and so, and so. So I think that Brazil may be, I hope, can give the, the world a contribution that is not so classical in, in terms of power. You know, not, not, not following the tradition of being uh, a power in the sense of the arms, you know, and, 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 and the guns and the bombs and, and the eye, you know, that sort of thing. I think that Brazil can, can be a, a, a cultural power, provide that we also can develop a good economy, that we can uh, occupy a a place, in, you know, in the concert of the nations, you know, economically, politically, but the contribution that we actually, I think that we all are able to give to the world is a, is a cultural contribution, you know, in terms of spirit, you know, uh, that, that sense of, of uh, life as something that, you know, worth living, that, 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 that taste for life, you know, that taste for things that, that we can enjoy, that, we can, that, that can, you know, that can entertain us, that can, you know, give us a sense of joy. Yeah, I think Brazil, I hope Brazil is going to play a role in that kind of joy, well, power. I, you, you, <laughs> you are a, a sterling example of that joy, and thank you so much. Thank for, you. For sharing with us today. Gilberto Gil.